our next comic coming to the stage, this is a very uh, special comic for me personally. I am a huge fan of this man. Uh, this was uh, one of the funniest two doormen in OB until a few weeks ago. I guess you can. <laughs> but that's okay. I want you to please give it up for the artist formerly known as El Blanco, Mr. Michael Windorf, everybody! folks, it's, uh, it's not the end of the football, so don't worry, Chargers fans, don't get your little jock straps in a bundle with the new football. No, it's come to my attention, folks, that I have become somewhat of a sex symbol here at OB. Somewhat, somewhat of an OBC heartthrob, if you will. I don't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even know. I was, like a couple weeks ago, Andrew Deans comes up to me. He's like, "Dude, we're gonna have to start calling you LL Cool W." I, like, I didn't know what the fuck. I was like, "What the fuck?" What you know? He's like, "Ladies love Cool Wendor." And I, and I thought he was making fun of me at first. I'm like, "Dude, fuck you, man. I can get laid, all right? Screw you know, I, you know what the hell?" But he's like. He's, he's like, he's like, no man, you man, you got something going on or something. I was like, okay. So you know, in that spirit, I'm just gonna run with it. You know, I'm gonna be credulous for this one. I'm gonna run with it. Fuck, I could be. You know, maybe he's seeing something, lady swooning that I'm not seeing. It's right up here. So I thought that I would kind of give like a how-to guide. Kind of, you know, the roadmap of how to ensnare this big old heart of mine and let it shine. So, so, what you do is you find me at a four day music festival dressed kind of like this. Alright? Mind aglow on fucking psychedelics. Like my fucking third eye is just popping out of the center of my board, like a miniature sun is lodged right here, just like... <laughs> connecting with the great spirit, folks. Right? Because I'm a little bit of a psycho now, folks. And you guys... Yeah, yeah, fucking psycho is right, dude. You're fucking crazy. Somebody fucking call the police before he does something crazy. No, folks, I am a seafarer of that endless ocean. That is the mind and spirit. But anyway, so anyway, I was at Langarado last year. Anyone? Oh, he knows. In, in the uh, Beast fucking Nectar. That was an awesome show. I was actually tripping balls. But, uh, but anyway, I found, I found a girl there. Similar, she was in a similar condition. And I was, we were like two atoms. Like I was an atom that had like an extra electron and she was an atom that had, that needed an electron. So, so like, so, shrink, you know, and we formed like this fun loving molecule. <laughs> we go into the show, right, and she's great. She was actually wearing this. She gave this to me in, in memory of her. So, she was actually wearing this. And, uh, dude, like, hippie chicks are fucking cool. Like, this girl was like doing some crazy ass dance moves. Like, she's like, might just go like, so we put like our backs together, right, and we're just like kind of grooving, you know, to like some trippy music. Like, and there's like fire dancers all around us, you know, like glow sticks flying, it's like, oh, happy time, you know, so we're dancing, like grooving around, like, you get lower and lower, and you finally just pull you know, you know, and like, so we're, we're like staying in this, she's, and she like starts doing something with her tongue in my mouth, like crazy stuff. Like, like I would like to nominate her tongue to be on the U.S. Women's Gymnastics Team for, for 2012. I would like. I, would, I think she's gonna get some gold medals or something. She'd be an acrobat with that fucking thing just in there, you know. And I start thinking, 
You know, if she does this in the mouth pretty good, wonder what she does. <laughs> you naughty little man. Why did you think of that? You know? They're just thoughts, people. Like, I'm sorry to ruin something beautiful. But when these two get together, it fucking destroy. you know, it's not about beauty. It's something about reproduction, I don't know. But, but, but anyway, so we're laying there, and I'm in the middle of the, of the, you know, the Seminole Indian Reservation, right? So, there are fucking fire ants there like you wouldn't believe. My arm is getting chewed up. I'm like, shit, you know, she's laying right next to me. I'm like, you know, I'm getting chewed up. And she's, you know, she's all about, like, nations of... Just let it go, let it be. Let it be. They're just, it's a part of nature, just let them eat. Let them eat. I, I thought that was so awesome. I'm just like, I'm, you know, I'm on like mescaline and shrooms. I'm fucking gone. And I was like, yeah! That's beautiful. And then all of a sudden she's like, I, I'm getting chewed up, let's move. It's like, what the fuck? And what happened to the nature in the beauty? So we move. We move, find a new spot, right? Laying, dude, it's like Matisse Yahoo, I don't know, at this point, like, we're doing, like, petting, dancing, like, loving, you know, like, hit, just awesome stuff, and it's like, and it's building, and it's building, and all of a sudden, like, Matisse Yahoo is saying, like, You've got one tiny moment in time for life to shine and to burn away the darkness. I will be light. And like my third eye, the sun of my just goes fucking supernova. Right? She's laying right next to me. I think my arm may have fused with her torso. Fucking just. You know, like, it was like a celestial fucking orgasm, and like the celestial orgasm is different from the regular orgasm because the, re the human orgasm is there's like a lot of fluids and goo and it can be kind of gross and leave stains. The celestial orgasm, you ever see those? <laughs> You ever see those pictures of like space dust, like the, by the Hubble telescope and shit? That's what it looks like, just a kaleidoscope of like crazy colors that like planets and solar systems come out of. That is the celestial orgasm. That is what I was a part of. The great spirit connected me and my little hippie woman. Love me. You're telling me, dude, I, I have, like, dude, and I, and I, I lost my job, folks, <laughs> you know, I'm fucking broke, I don't know where I'm gonna be in the next fucking, like, two months, so it's stuff like that that I like to think about, that was, like, the happiest moment of my life that I think about to keep me going, so hopefully, you know, it makes the shit sandwiches go down a little easier, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like of course I did. Come on. She's she was she got out of an, a relationship. She's like she's cultivating stillness from when she told me that. Uh, but you know that's beautiful. I'm like I love that shit. She's like telling me about earth ships and stuff, building earth ships. But anyway, I gotta finish this up. There's more people. Anyway, I would just like to say I would just like to say thank you to OBC. These guys have been fucking awesome to me. Well, right, other, you go to other places and you're like, oh, another comic. All right, cool, dude. Fuck you. Okay, get out of here. These guys have always been encouraging. So, OBC, year three to infinity.